I'm John Myros with the Orange County Library System here at the West Oaks Branch in Ocoee, Florida. Um, February 22nd, 2013, Capturing Memories from Our Community. Please tell us your name and where you are from. Hi, I'm Dolores and I'm from Ocoee. My family and I moved here from Chicago about 15 years ago. Um, we are originally from the islands, but we came here from Florida, and Ocoee was the place where my other relatives were, so we came here. I'm an artist, and um, I've been doing artwork here in Ocoee and exhibiting my work for the past few years. And my first exhibit at Ocoee was at the West Stokes Library when it first opened up uh, 10 years ago. And um, uh, currently, I am ex exhibiting my work here again at the library for um, Women's, Women's Month. But what I love about Ocoee is it's a small community. It's, uh, it's diverse, diversity. And I love it uh, the way it has a lot of you know, shrubs and trees everywhere I go. I love the water. So I miss that from the islands. So this was the closest I get and it's not too congested. I love the small community homes. Um, my best memory of Akoe is driving down White Road where there are a couple of orange grove trees. I was absolutely um, just, just, um, just joyful in seeing that because growing up in the islands, there are lots of uh, fruit trees. So when I saw that, I, was, I became so elated and so excited. And a couple of years later on, I, I walked down the street on White Road and met the owner. Uh, she recently died, I think. Um, but I also met her son, who is still around. And I called him Lord Byron. Well, he says I could call him Lord Byron. <laughs> but they've been here in Ekoe for many, many years. And he has uh, allowed me to come and pick on pick uh, oh, uh, oranges, great. yeah, that's great. Uh, from their orchard. And I just loved it. And so I had my children come and, and pick oranges. And I had a couple of uh, neighborhood kids from our community sure. come and, as, as a little field trip, come and pick. Right. So it's, that's, that's a lovely history for me and for my kids to uh, enjoy coming to an orchard and, and pick. A lot of the people I've talked to have mentioned the orange industry. Yeah. You've seen the orange groves and, and how you, you don't see them anymore. Don't see them anymore. It's, fun. it's so it's fantastic because, you know, we, the kids just go and see the fruits in the supermarkets, but they never really see it. Right. And another thing that I took the kids to, which I enjoyed going to, was uh, the orange, there's a, a factory where they actually do the orange um, juices. So um, we took them over there, and that was that was also lovely. And you, and you know, an orange from the grove is no comparison to an orange in the in the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So that was uh, that's wonderful. Another thing that I loved, um, a koi. We did a lot of firsts in a koi. Um, my son was born here in a koi, okay. uh, and um, my daughter had her first piano lessons when they had the Civic Center before it moved to AD Indians. Okay. Yeah, and um, my son went to Okoe Middle School when it, after the new middle school was opened. So that was also um, something new. And um, we did a Martin Luther King a parade, mm -hmm. the, the first time it was held in Ocoee. Oh, was it, so they had their own one in Ocoee? Yeah, oh, yeah, they, they did. A few years ago they had it, and um, it was a small parade, but it was wonderful right down on Clark Road. Sure. It was a nice uh, turn up, uh, again with uh, Mayor uh, Vanderbilt. And um, we had, uh, there are a few changes in Ocoee, you know, the the community, uh, more development has been going on in the sure. Koei. So it's nice to see, it's nice to see, but we still want to see, you know, still a little more greenery, right. you know, to maintain some right. of the greenery will be, would be lovely still. Right. But I do enjoy seeing 
the growth because um, a community still need to grow. Um, so that's the. So um, this this piece of art here is this um, Oko any type of Okoe theme to it, or is this just something that? Yep, yep, and um, I'm glad you mentioned it because one of the thing that I love about Okoe being on this west side is it have an absolutely gorgeous sceneries. Mm. Um, sunset, at sunset. Yeah. Lakes. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. So I get different sceneries. Sure. So I take lots of pictures. And sure. from that, I get inspiration yeah. to draw. So this background here, this is from, from a series that I have about um, couples or Adam and Eve uh, series. Okay. And so I got this background from, um, from an inspiration from um, Okoe's um, lakeside and uh -huh. and this is a th this background here is a memory that I had from one of these backyards that had those oh, fence. Deck. <laughs> okay, so yeah. this is somebody's deck. That's <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so it's um so I get a lot of inspiration here in Okoe, lots of um, sunset scenery. Yeah, well, it is nice when you you can actually have you have all these lakes and you can actually have walk out and there's a lake you oh know, yeah right out of your kitchen and there's a lake and know? and there's a lake and usually when i see paintings that had um has a lot of fog uh -huh. as an as an artist it was a l always a little bit hard to um uh, to paint or to envision because uh -huh. from the islands i don't see fogs uh -huh. as much yeah. but when i got to a koei yeah leaving out here in the morning to drop my kids off to school right. what six o'clock hour right. we get some fantastic right. sceneries you know fog laying on the lake right. you know different levels sure. of the fog fantastic sure, just steaming off, steaming like off. so did. i've never yeah. seen you know fog scenery before until i got to <laughs> okoe <Yeah. laughs> so okoe has some good memories for me and um yeah. and some good history and uh, I just like being, I like being around. It's it's nice, small, uh, family oriented, and that's diversity. That's what I keep hearing from other people saying that, that it's very good. Uh, family oriented is a good, manageable size. Yeah. That yeah. you're not driving all over the place. Oh yeah, no, no. E nice, easy access. And when they built uh, the Publix right here too, it was pretty good. And yeah. you know, having a library, you just. Yeah. Everything right there. So. Yeah, it's just a Publix in a library. It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. You know. If you want to get somewhere, you just go on a, right here in Clark Road, get on 408, and you can shoot out. Shoot to Disney quickly. Yeah. And, um, and the, up, you know, the upkeep of the community is good. We like seeing you know, them fixing the roads and, yeah. and the schools. And probably reasonable prices compared to other places, too. Yeah, fairly. Well, of course, it's probably all high here. I'm just guessing. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, fairly, when they had uh, when they had gapers a few years ago, that was pretty good. They had a lot of discounts, but now we have to mm -hmm. move on to new changes. Mm -hmm. You know, in our in our mall, the mall used to attract a lot of people from from different places. You okay. know, Winter Park and right. you know, Windermere. But um, hopefully. I hope to see a new new development going on. Well, to actually, what you want to do is, is when you buy stuff, you want it to stay in the community as opposed to driving out and shopping somewhere else. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Know, so. Exactly. Exactly. To keep it here so it can, so it can grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that's pretty good. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Um, well, just um, I just enjoy being here, mm -hmm. and um, and I hope to see a lot of more good changes that come sure. about here, and and uh, just come out and see the different things that Okoe has to offer. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.